Want to know how to save $10 fast in 2024? The answer may surprise you. Let's take a moment to ponder the concept of saving money. It's a task that sounds simple enough, but is often met with a myriad of challenges. We live in a world where the lure of instant gratification is ever-present, where the newest gadgets and trendy experiences constantly beckon us, and where the steady stream of bills never seems to cease. For many, the idea of setting aside even a small amount of money feels like an uphill battle, a challenge that can feel insurmountable. There's also the common misconception that saving requires drastic lifestyle changes or extreme frugality. This can often lead to feelings of deprivation and frustration, further hindering the saving process. But what if I told you there are simple ways to save $10 quickly? Join us as we unravel the mystery of saving and demonstrate how it can be achieved with ease and without sacrifice. Imagine this. You're at your favorite coffee shop. It's a place of comfort, a haven of sorts, where the aroma of freshly ground beans greets you every morning. You place your order, the usual, a large caramel macchiato that sets you back $5. A small price for a daily indulgence, you reckon? Now consider this. That $5 coffee, when bought every day for a week, adds up to $35. In a month, that's $140. Over a year, you're looking at a whopping $1,680. That's a vacation, a new gadget, or a significant contribution to your savings. What if you were to skip that daily coffee shop visit? Brew your own at home, perhaps. It might take a bit of getting used to, but think of the savings. In just two days, you've saved $10, and just like that, you've saved your first $10. Ever wondered how many subscriptions you're really paying for? The digital age has made it all too easy to sign up for services, from streaming platforms to monthly snack boxes. But are you using all of them? Probably not. Take a moment to think about the last time you watched that movie service or read that online magazine. It's quite possible that you've completely forgotten about some of them. They're like silent money eaters nibbling away at your finances each month. You see, these forgotten subscriptions are a common occurrence. It's easy to overlook them, but they can add up and create a significant dent in your budget. Here's where you can make a difference. Start by taking inventory of your subscriptions. Cancel the ones you rarely use or don't need. It might seem like a small step, but you'd be surprised at the potential savings. Another quick $10 saved, just like that. Have you ever tried being a thrifty chef? It's more fun than you might think. We all have to eat, right? And while takeaways and restaurant meals can be a tasty treat, they can quickly gnaw away at our wallets. The solution? Welcome to the world of home-cooked meals. Not only does cooking at home allow you to control what goes into your food, it can also lead to significant savings. Think about it. A single meal out could cost you upwards of $10, but with that same amount, you could potentially make multiple meals at home. Now, we're not suggesting you become the next Gordon Ramsay, but a little meal planning goes a long way. Plan your meals for the week, buy groceries in bulk, cook large portions and freeze for later. Every time you choose to cook at home, you're choosing to save, and voila, another $10 saved. Ever considered trading your car ride for a bike ride? Now, there's a thought. Imagine this scenario. Your workplace or your favorite grocery store is just a couple of miles away. Instead of hopping in your car and burning fuel, what if you could hop on a bike or simply walk? Not only would this be a fantastic way to get a bit of daily exercise, but it would also help you save quite a bit of money on gas. Let's break it down. Say, on average, you spend around $10 per week on gas for short distance trips. By choosing to bike or walk instead, you could potentially save that $10. Over a month, that's $40 saved. Over a year, you're looking at a savings of nearly $500. Now, isn't that a trade-off worth considering? And there you have it, another $10 saved. Ever thought about the real cost of retail therapy? Let's delve into it. Picture this, you've had a rough week and you decide to treat yourself to a little something. It's just a small purchase, right? But have you ever paused to consider the financial implications of these impulse buys? Each time you succumb to the lure of retail therapy, you chip away at your savings. That little something might seem insignificant in the moment, but these purchases add up over time. The occasional $20 shirt or the spontaneous $10 book might not break the bank immediately, 
But when you tally up these seemingly inconsequential indulgences over a month, a year, or even a decade, the total can be staggering. Think about it. If you resist the urge to make just one unnecessary $10 purchase each week, you could save over $500 in a year. So next time you're tempted by retail therapy, remember, resist the urge and you've saved another $10. Ever tried being an energy efficiency expert? It's easier than you might think, and it's a great way to keep a few extra dollars in your pocket. The key to becoming an energy efficiency expert is understanding that every little bit helps. Even the smallest changes can add up to big savings over time. For instance, turning off lights when they're not needed can make a noticeable difference on your electricity bill. It's a simple habit, but one that can lead to significant savings. Similarly, Unplugging electronic devices when they're not in use can also help save energy. Even when they're turned off, many devices continue to draw power, a phenomenon known as phantom energy. By unplugging these devices, you can stop this unnecessary energy usage, reducing your electricity bill in the process. So why not give it a try? Become an energy efficiency expert and see how much you can save. And just like that, another $10 saved. Ever fancied being a water conservation warrior? Well, this is your chance to step into the role and save a few bucks along the way. You see, water is a precious resource, and in many places, an expensive one too. So, every drop you save counts not only towards preserving the environment, but also towards your budget. Let's start with a simple measure, cutting down your shower time. If you shave off just two minutes from your daily shower, you could save up to eight gallons of water. That's a substantial saving over a month. Next, consider those pesky, leaky faucets. They may seem insignificant, but a faucet dripping once per second can waste over 3,000 gallons a year. That's enough water to fill over 50 bathtubs. Fixing these leaks is an easy way to stop money from literally dripping down the drain. And there you have it. Another $10 saved. Ever thought about the value in second-hand items? There's a common misconception that used equates to worn out or second rate. But let's debunk that myth right now. You see, shopping second-hand isn't only for those on a tight budget. It's a savvy strategy for anyone looking to get more value for their money. From clothing to furniture, electronics to books, the second-hand market is booming with gently used items that still have plenty of life left in them. And the best part? You can often find these items at a fraction of their original retail price. Consider this, a brand new designer jacket can cost upwards of $100. But pick up the same jacket gently worn from a second-hand shop and you're likely to pay less than half of that. So next time you're thinking about making a purchase, why not check out the second-hand market first? And just like that, another $10 saved. So, how do you save $10 fast in 2024? Let's take a moment to recap. Firstly, challenge yourself to save. Make it a game, a test of your financial fortitude. Then, consider your coffee habit. Can you cut back or make it at home? Next, take a hard look at your subscriptions. Are there any you can live without? Fourthly, become a thrifty chef. Plan meals, avoid waste, and embrace the art of leftovers. Then, consider your transport. Can you walk or cycle instead? Sixth, Question the need for retail therapy. Can you resist the temptation or find joy in non-material things? Next, become an energy efficiency expert. Small changes can lead to big savings. Similarly, be a water conservation warrior. Every drop counts. Ninth, embrace second-hand shopping. It's not just economical, it's also eco-friendly. And there you have it, 10 simple ways to save $10 fast in 2024.